Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the word unless. How to use unless? First thing you have to know that unless basically means the same as if not. In other words, you can use either of them in a sentence. Let's see some examples. If we don't leave now, we'll be late. Which is, if we do not leave now, we will be late, right? Now let's try to replace if not with unless. Unless we leave now, we'll be late. Unless we leave now, we'll be late. Let's see another example. If you don't love it, don't buy it. If you do not love it, do not buy it. Let's replace if not with unless. Unless you love it, don't buy it. Which means exactly the same thing. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Unless you like it, don't buy it. Or don't buy it unless you like it or you love it. You can say, I'll be upset if you don't fulfill your promise. I will be upset if you do not fulfill your promise. Now let's replace if not with unless. I'll be upset unless you fulfill your promise. And fulfill means to do what is promised. Another example. If he doesn't leave now, he won't make it in time to the airport. If he doesn't leave now, he will not make it in time to the airport. Unless he leaves now, he will not make it in time to the airport. Unless he leaves now, he won't make it in time to the airport. If it's not raining tomorrow, we'll go to the park. Unless it's raining tomorrow, we'll go to the park. He won't buy this if there is no significant discount. He won't buy this unless there's a significant discount. Take note that we cannot use a negative sentence after unless. You can say unless it's not raining. It doesn't make any sense because it's double negative in one sentence. So be careful with that. I hope it was useful. See you in my next video. And now it's your homework. Think of a couple sentences with unless and write them down in the comment section below.